double cooldown here, Cassidy. Uh, his last lap was a 40.2, so yeah, so he's going to be on a push lap here. And good win for him last time out, Dario. He's had a couple of second places this year and then finally got the, the victory in Berlin. And he, it seemed like he felt he'd gone too early in <laughs> Berlin, but, but they managed to win it. Yeah, that's definitely one of the uh, the parts of this this new style of racing is when to go. It's like a bicycle race, when to when to use that energy and just go. And I, I was sitting at home going, ah, he's gone too early. And I'm yeah. talking to his, a lot of his competition, they were thinking, oh, he's gone too early. But he absolutely nailed it. What he was actually, if you watch the race back, rather than using energy and actually going into a, an, an energy hole, using too much energy per lap, he was able to lead that race, pull away, and actually gain energy, put himself in a better position. It was mighty performance from Nick Cassidy, and he's put himself into really strong championship position. And Pascal Verlein, who came out of the blocks like a sprinter, has uh, struggled a bit more of, of late. Cassidy said he learned a lot following jean eric Verne in Hyderabad in those closing laps. Yeah, that was a masterclass, wasn't it, from jean eric Verne? I mean, just up front, uh, less energy than Cassidy, held on to the lead and actually made energy. And that uh, was, yeah, Nick's no fool. And rather than just get upset that he finished second, he, he learned that whole race and he's used it to his advantage. So he, he's won so many championships, particularly in Japan. And that mindset of a champion uh, is, it never leaves you, I would say. And he just, he's always trying to figure stuff out as you see him coming in.